Hey guys, what's up? And today we have another tutorial, and this one is on an awesome wallpaper layout for your YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop CS5, and in the description you'll find a download link to find a, a layout template. So let's go ahead and open this. So once you've opened it, you want to go ahead and experiment with all the layers that are already included, and find out which one does what. So for example, the background layer will cancel the background, so you can change this to whatever color you'd like. So in the folder you downloaded, you will also find a few pictures. Now here is the mist, and this one will drag in and automatically resize itself to the actual image. Next step is to add text. Now the text is all up to you and where you place it and what you're going to add. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color to white as the background is black. And after this, we are going to go ahead and open up the settings and change the layer style and the gradient. Now this part is probably the most complicated out of this whole tutorial. So listen carefully. See these arrows at the bottom? We want to make two more in the middle. This will give us a glare effect. So let's go ahead and double click the first arrow and change it to our darker color. And we also want to copy the little code on the bottom there so we get the exact same one here. Let's paste it in. For the next one, the third, we want to paste it in once again and then make the color just a tad bit lighter. This will make the glare effect. Go ahead and copy that code once again and move on to the very last arrow and paste it in. Now you've finished the glare effect. Next step, we're going to add an inner and outer glow. So we're going to make this one black, and then for the outer glow, we're going to make it a gray. Now this depends on what color your background is. Now that we've finished with the text layer, we can go ahead and rotate it. Let's click Command T, or we can go ahead and click Edit, Transform, and rotate the image. Now we can drag it to the side. Now when we rotated it, our glare effect was off. So all we have to do is go over to the text layer, double click it, and go over to the gradient overlay. Now there's a dial on this page, and all you have to do is spin it to 180 degrees. And simply like that, our glare effect is now perfect. Let's go ahead and duplicate this layer so we don't have to do the text effect all over again. Let's go ahead and drag the duplicate over to the side so we fit some working space and click the text tool again and change the text to what you want it to be. Now you can have your name on the other side of the page too, but we're going to change this to subscribe. Click the cursor tool and we're going to go ahead and rotate it once again. Now our glare effect was rotated as well, so we're going to want to fix that again doing the exact same thing we did with the last one. Going over to the text layer, gradient overlay, we can either click the reverse button or just switch it all the way around to zero. And there we go. Now let's move on to some of the effects. We're gonna add in a lens flare. So let's pick the first one. I also added a red one in there just in case you wanna make your background red. So we drag this first one in here and this is called pixel. Let's line it up so we rotate it and this will go underneath of this text layer. So let's hit enter and drag this underneath of the text layers. Go ahead and duplicate this layer, click OK and drag it all the way over to the subscribe part. Let's rotate this and line it up once again. Now we're going to add one last one and this is going to go right in the middle. So let's duplicate it, click OK and drag it over to somewhere in the middle and rotate it. This one I aligned with the blue line, which I thought looked pretty cool. 
Now this one we're going to want it over top of the layer so don't put it below anything. We can make some final touches by dragging the opacity down and up and go over to the file you download once again. We're going to take our blue optical flare and we're going to rotate it just like we did with the last one. Let's drag it over top so they both align and click enter. I'm going to drag the opacity down just a little bit because I thought it was a little too bright. We're going to duplicate this and drag it all the way over to the subscribe part and do the exact same thing. Now as you can see there's kind of a square so this lens flare is not perfect. We're going to make a slight minor touch up. Let's go ahead and click on the eraser tool and we're going to make the eraser tool a fuzzy brush. Let's drag the size up a little bit. Now click on the lens flare and click OK. This will rasterize the layer so we can edit it. Go ahead and click all the way around it and this will only edit the layer that we're on. So don't worry about anything else. This will just make it a little bit more professional around the edges. We're also going to do this for the other side, so let's click on the other flare. Click on it again, rasterize it, and go ahead around the edges. Now finally we can export it. Go to File, Save Image for web devices. We can go ahead and edit the settings depending on what file size your YouTube account accepts. Click save and save it to whatever file you would like. So that's it with the tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I also put a slight watermark on it so if you guys do delete that I can report your wallpaper if I ever find it. Also check out my latest video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.